Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you and with your spirit. My dear sisters and brothers in Christ Jesus. Today we are celebrating the 16th Sunday of the Ordinary Time. And all the three readings of today drive us home with one single message. And that is the centrality or the need of the centrality of God in our life. It is with this centrality we are able to make God at the center, at the same time able to proclaim this God of ours so that others are able to make God the center of their life. Before we begin this Mass, let us therefore ask ourselves, has God been the center of our life? And how much time have we taken to proclaim this centrality to others so that others make God the center of their lives. For all those moments where we have failed, let us be sorry. This Mass is offered for the repose of the soul of Mrs. Fernanda Miranda. Tomorrow, the, it is the 10th death anniversary. As we are praying for the repose of the soul of Mrs. Fernanda, let us also in a special way pray for all the intentions of the Miranda family. Mr. Xavier Miranda, his mother and his children. Let us all together say, I confess to you, Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen.
Sing to God a song of glory. Peace He brings to people on earth. Worship be the King of heaven. Praise and bless His holy name. Glory, glory. Sing His glory. Glory to our God on high. Sing to Let us pray. For God who show the light of your truth to those who go astray so that they may return to the right path. Give all who for the faith they profess are accounted Christians the grace to reject whatever is contrary to the name of Christ and to strive after all that does it honor through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Jeremiah. Woe to the shepherds who destroy and scatter the sheep of my pasture, declares the Lord. Therefore, thus says the Lord, the God of Israel, concerning the shepherds who care for my people. You have scattered my flock and have driven them away, and you have not attended to them. Behold, I will attend to you for your evil deeds, declares the Lord. Then I will gather the remnant of my flock out of all the countries where I have driven them, and I will bring them back to their fold and they shall be fruitful and multiply. I will set shepherds over them who will care for them, and they shall fear no more nor be dismayed, neither shall any be missing, declares the Lord. Behold, the days are coming, declares the Lord, when I will raise up for David a righteous branch, and he shall reign as king and deal wisely, and shall execute justice and righteousness in the land. In his days, Judah will be saved, and Israel will dwell securely. And this is the name by which he will be called. The Lord is our righteousness. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. sun, the stars and the sky, yes he made everything for our good. He made the rain and the snow and he made the moon to glow. He made it because he loves us. Look all around and see that the Lord has made everything for our good. Look all around and smile for 
A reading from the letter of Saint Paul to the Ephesians, brethren. Now in Christ Jesus, you who once were far off, have been brought near by the blood of Christ. For He Himself is our peace, who has made us both one, and has broken down in His flesh the dividing wall of hostility. by abolishing the law of commandments expressed in ordinances that he might create in himself one new man in place of the two so making peace and might reconcile us both to god in one body through the cross thereby killing the hostility and he became a priest priest to you who were far off and peace to those who were near for through him we both have access in one spirit to the father the word of the lord thanks be to god hallelujah 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 to the from the holy gospel according to mark glory to you o lord at the time the apostles returned to jesus and told him all that they had done and taught and he said to them come away by yourselves to a desolate place and rest a while for many were coming and going and they had no leisure even to eat and they went away in the boat to a desolate place by themselves now many saw them going and recognized them and they ran there on foot from all the towns and got there ahead of them when he went ashore he saw a great crowd and he had compassion on them because they were like sheep without a shepherd and he began to teach them many things the gospel of the lord praise, praise to you lord jesus christ my dear sisters and brothers in Christ Jesus the gospel of today has to be seen in the entire gospel of the 6th chapter of st mark at the beginning of the 6th chapter chapter 6 verse 6 we find jesus sending the disciples two by two giving them authority and power to drive away demons to heal the sick and to cure all types of infirmities and diseases and now the disciples come back and report to jesus report to jesus all that they had done what all great things they could do they could drive away demons they could heal the sick 
they could do all types of wonderful things however jesus pours cold water on them instead of appreciating them instead of congratulating them instead of telling them well done he simply ignores them and he tells yeah let's go to a lonely place and let us rest a while why did jesus do that what a bad leader was he what a bad psychologist all of us require appreciation all of us require a pat on our back all of us require a certain amount of praise well done expressions we require to go back and read what is not written why did jesus ignore them because jesus wanted to teach them one great lesson of their life they narrated the great things they did in their lives however they forget to they forgot to tell him lord in your name we did all these things in your name because the authority that we got to drive away demons to heal the sick to cure all types of infirmities came because of your power i think that is exactly where i and you also go wrong we do wonderful things we think it is because of our capacity it is because of our talents it is because of our education it is because the exposure that we have to the world culture because we are rich because we are astute in our mindset we are business like people and therefore we are successful in the world we forget that it is a gift of god that is because of the mercy of god and in his goodness we are what we are today and therefore jesus wants to teach each one of us just as he taught the disciples the centrality of god in our life and therefore the first question may be required to ask where do i stand in front of my god is god the center of my life or something else is the center of my life it is important to see from this angle even the first reading prophet jeremiah lived somewhere in the 7th century around 600 years before christ during his time the political economic situation of israel was not so good jeshia was a very pious king and he was killed in the battle and his son jehoiakim takes the reign now in his hand and king jehoiakim was quite opposite of his father he was a selfish man instead of doing good to the people instead of teaching god experience to the people he began building his own palaces building his build his own richness and he condemned the temples he condemned religion he even violated the just wages for the poor people violence was all about his kingdom what happened as a result king nebuchadnezzar comes and kills him and then comes his son even he couldn't live for more than 3 years and then nebuchadnezzar comes again and destroys the entire kingdom and brings in 
his own king zedekiah as the king of israel zedekiah never knew how to rule and therefore there was total chaos there was total destruction and that was total insensitivity to the poor and to the justice of life it is at this moment jeremiah comes and begins his prophecy he will instill a new hope in the people he tells them the lord himself will raise a prophet for you from the shoot of jesse a new shoot will come and that shoot would really be shepherding after the people of israel and we all know that prophecy was fulfilled in the person of jesus my dear friends it is this special mission because of the centrality of god in our life that i and you have received now it is from this background let us go to the second part of the gospel of today although jesus says let us go to a lonely place and let us be ourselves for a while when jesus and his disciples reached there the crowd was ahead of them they were waiting to listen to him and we see in the next paragraphs which we are not in the part of the gospel today that jesus spends the entire day preaching the word of god and in the evening he sees them so tired so hungry and he tells his disciples you yourself give them something to eat and the disciples are again overwhelmed from where can i where can we bring so much of bread for so many people we don't have and it is at that moment jesus tells them make them to sit there i will show you how providence and how shepherding can work in the lives of the people it is the god who provides it is not you people who provide how many of us are convinced that god provides when we take god as the center of our life and begin to keep our trust on him and on him alone that we come to the deep truth of our life that it is god who provides it is not we who provide and if today let us reassert the centrality of god in our life and let us believe in his providence let us not lose our trust because it is god who reigns and it is god who provides amen let us all stand and proclaim our faith in the triune god i believe in god the father, the father almighty creator of heaven and earth and, earth, and in jesus christ is his only son our lord who was conceived by the power of the holy spirit born of the virgin mary suffered under pontius pilate was crucified died and was buried he descended into hell on the third day he rose again from the dead He ascended, he ascended into, into heaven, heaven and, and is seated, seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty from there he will come to judge the living and the dead i believe in the holy spirit the holy catholic church the communion of saints the forgiveness of sins the resurrection of the body and the life everlasting amen my dear sisters and brothers in christ jesus when the shepherds fail in their duty the sheep is really in danger of scattering seeing the pitiable condition of the people jesus engages himself in teaching them and at times provides them food too trusting in the lord let us now place our petitions before him saying lord hear our prayer 
Lord, hear our prayer. For the Pope, the bishops, the clergy, and the religious that are shepherds in the church, they may carry out the pastoral, teaching, and administrative tasks with dedication. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church may offer us services with care, compassion, and other centeredness, so that the faithful may benefit from all the good works the church is doing. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the Catholic writers, journalists, and cinematographers, that they may use their gifts and talents for the edification of the people. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For Christians who are persecuted on account of their faith in Christ, that by uniting their sufferings to the suffering of Christ, they may find the strength to endure them. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us present in this Eucharistic assembly, that we may rest assured that God is our shepherd and that he will never fail to take care of the sheep that belong to him. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pause for a moment and pray for all our personal, family, community and social needs. We pray in a special way that we be liberated from this pandemic very soon and be able to move around freely, visit our family, friends and our neighbors and be rejoined with that joy and oneness of life. We make these prayers to Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that this sacrifice may be pleasing to God, our loving Father. May, may the, the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. O God, who in the one perfect sacrifice brought to completion varied offerings of the Lord, Accept, we pray, this sacrifice from your faithful servants and make it holy as you bless the gifts of Abel, so that what each has offered to the honor of your majesty may benefit the salvation of all. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit, lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, it is right and, and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For by his birth he brought renewal, to humanity's fallen state, and by his suffering cancelled out our sins. By his rising from the dead, he has opened the way to eternal life, and by ascending to you, O Father, 
he has unlocked the gates of heaven. And so, with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. <laughs> Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and God of might, heaven and earth are full of your glory, sing Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread giving thanks broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, William our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember Fernanda Miranda whom you have called from this world unto yourself. Grant that she who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, O Lord, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ.
through him unto world him unto in her. O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Together with Jesus, who is their amidst us, let us raise our minds and hearts to the Father, saying, Our, our Father, Father, who art, who art in, in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is, is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And, and forgive, forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as, as we forgive, forgive those who trespass, who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For, For the, the kingdom, kingdom the power, and the, and the glory, glory are yours now and, and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you set your parcels, and now you say to each one of us, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sinfulness, O Lord, but on the faith of your entire family, the church, and grant us the peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. And may the peace of Jesus Christ be with you all. And with your spirit. And let us share with each other a sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Lord Jesus Christ, with faith in your love and mercy, we eat your body and drink your blood. Let it not bring us condemnation, but health both to our mind and body. My dear friends, here is Jesus Christ, our Lord and Master. He is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Fortunate are we to receive him. Lord, Lord I am I'm not worthy, not worthy that, that you should enter under, under my roof, roof but, but only say the word, word and, and my soul shall be healed. May the reception of this body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, may each one of us be kept safe for eternal life.
In a moment of silence, let us once again pray for the repose of the soul of Mrs. Fernanda Miranda and for all the intentions of Miranda family. Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. I've got something that the world can't give and the world can't take it away. I've got something Take it away.